our Wi-Fi is not working for some reason. So I guess there's like an outage in the area or whatever. So we're just chilling. Uh, Jax is napping, Shay's sleeping, me and Weston are just hanging out. But I'm eating an apple for some reason. I'm like so hungry this morning. It's 10:19. I had my protein coffee. I just had an apple, which normally fills me up. So I'm actually gonna get a cheese stick. It'll be lunchtime soon, so hopefully. And I, I guess I really haven't drank that much water yet today, so I'm gonna go drink some water. And I'm wearing these PJs, and I wanted to show you guys. So I have way too much clothes and not enough closet space, so I actually just got this off of Amazon. I will link it, um, but it's it's cute. It's, it'll do the job. I just need it for um, some of my clothes because, like... This is all Buff Bunny leggings. It was organized, but it's crazy. This is all leggings, Buff Bunny leggings. This is all Buff Bunny bras, and I'm, there's so much more. Like, I'm just at capacity, and like, this is so embarrassing, but I'll show you guys. This is our closet. Like, it's just, this is all like my Buff Bunny jackets and pullovers and their leather jacket. There's stuff up here. This is all Shay stuff. Like, we're literally have no room. I'm so ready to move, not just because of the clothes, but just everything. Like, we have no room. Um, so I'm going to, I think, just move my clothes that aren't Buff Bunny into here and just have this whole thing dedicated to Buff Bunny. Um, I feel like that'll be easier. I'm gonna put, like, my bra and underwear in those. I don't know, but, like, this is just more more stuff it's just crazy so i want to do that today um my house is a mess right now it's stressing me out but i want to show you guys i finished decorating okay that's okay let's play with some toys so i finished decorating like the mantle so um i had this stuff last year if you guys remember but this is what i did i got some new stockings and they didn't have a w i was so annoyed but i just got Weston this and he loves it so um, so I have my little mantle and then I got these lights to go around my TV, but I actually moved them under the mantle and I'll show you There's like a little remote and you can change the color Well, not like that, but hold on <laughs> So there's like red yellow green like all these colors. So it looks better at night But during the day, I just like to have it like that I got more lights for the tree. I got this cute little um, tree skirt at Target. Um, I, I literally only got it because I knew Jax would like to play with these. But we just have any more blocks. Or is there more in your room? In my room? No, we just have any in my room. We can still build a house with this. These? A how the hell? No, 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 no. Here, you do like four. Okay. So, do one, two. One, two. So two makes to build a house two, three times. It's time to wake up Jacks. <gasps> Hello, sweetie pie. Umbrella. <laughs> Jacks, Kyler. What are you doing? Hi, sweetie. Good morning! Look at that sleep face! <laughs> face! Good morning, sweetie pie! That was a good nap, huh? You want the camera? Hold on, let's get your arm out. Oh my goodness. Oh. Matching boys? Matching boys? Yeah. Yeah. Hi, sweetie. Hi. <laughs> Michael Myers mask sitting over there casually. <laughs> you meet mama. <laughs> All right, Michael Myers. <laughs> Got it all clean. There's Timmy. Um, he spilled M&Ms this morning. There was M&Ms, but Weston kept eating the M&Ms. Um, I'm gonna refill my protein bar jar. 
Um, I like to keep this out because every night I just like grab one um, before bed. So munchies and peanut butter crisps are my favorite. I've really been on the munchies kick for some reason. Um, these are my faves. And um, I actually am doing a huge giveaway with Alani on my Instagram. Alani is giving three winners each a entire year supply of protein bars. An entire year supply. Like, is that not so crazy? And I'm so honored that they chose me to host the giveaway. I'm so excited, so definitely check that out on my Instagram. It'll be three weeks long, so each week will be um, a new winner. Yeah, if you're interested in that, if you love the fit snacks like me, then check that out. Okay, so I wanted to do this this year for for my delivery drivers. I get so many packages, Instacart, Shay gets DoorDash like all the time, so um, I just wanted to do this. So I have a basket, I'm gonna put this on the basket and then I'm gonna fill it with some snacks. So I'm gonna do some muffins. Um, I did wash my hands just now and hopefully, I've seen a lot of people doing it so, and obviously it's their choice if they wanna take it or not but I just thought it'd be nice. So I'm gonna do that, I'm going to put some Sour strips. Oh, <laughs> I have so many sour strips. Um, so, and like I, I love them. I actually just had some last night, but I have so many that it's like ridiculous. So, um, I don't eat them like that often because they're not like a healthy candy. So, um, I have like a ton in here. So I'm just going to put those in there. I'm gonna just set this up. I'm making some snacks for the delivery people. The delivery people? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is that silly? Watch out for him, Weston. Here's your mama. <laughs> so a lot of people are still commenting on the way he's crawling. I am gonna talk to his doctor, but from what I looked up, it's like normal um, when they first start crawling, but it's been about a month now since he's been crawling like that, so. You are so handsome. Um, I'm definitely gonna bring it up to his doctor. He just has like that one leg dragging. A lot of you guys on Instagram said that your kids crawled like that too, so I'm not too worried about it. He is so, okay, I know I'm biased because he's my kid, but like, Jack. Oh my goodness. Look at you boys. Weston, look at me. You want to know something? What, Mom? You're so handsome. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Who's pretty today, Mom? Who's pretty today? You. <gasps> Thank you, honey. Mom, who is my best friend? Who is your best friend? Me and my best friend. Daddy, you me. I love you. <laughs> Mommy, look at me. Look at mine. Look Whoa, at what is that? That's a house. Wow. It's a tower to the house. Okay, so I thought I'd quickly show you guys. I just took my tape off and uh, I'm gonna put new tape on, but I thought I'd show you my incision and what it's looking like. So. Here it is from the front. So I'm trying to show without showing too much. It's looking so good for just like three and a half weeks. Post-op, I'm trying to get like a close-up. You guys can see. I'm a little bit bruised. Um, there's like tape marks right here. You can see I'm still swollen a lot, like up here and like right here in my back um, and like right here. And then this is the back without showing you my entire butt crack. Um, so the back one's looking really, really good. And then this, a little bit of piece ripped off from my tape, but yeah. So that's really it. I feel amazing. 
Um, like from the front, you can't, I'm not really, I don't look that swollen. It's mostly just from the side, but still, I mean, I'm only three and a half weeks post-op, so. Super excited, I'm taking a break from my compression for a little bit, and then I'm going to, so weird to like wear sweatpants like this, um, with like no bulge right here, which is crazy, but I'm about to eat dinner, so I have, so I have some bird's eye pasta with some fat-free mozzarella, and my water, of course, and I'm gonna have a munchies bar for dessert, so I'm about to sit and watch The Vampire Diary. Here she's. Mom. Here, Mom. Okay, you put that one on. Okay. Let's do the challenge, Mom. I'm winning, I'm winning. Uh, mommy! I win! Good job. We win, Mom! Mm -hmm. Take a picture of me. Yeah. <laughs> Take a picture. Step. What'd you say? I said my friends are so sad. Why are they sad? Because they lost me. Do you think that they miss you so much? Yeah. But I had to go to school now. Okay. I never am. <laughs> Mommy, come on. Take me to school. We have 10 minutes. No, 10 minutes. 10 minutes. Just wait a little bit, okay? Okay. 10, oh my 9, God. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now I'm going to school. <laughs> Let's go. Bye, Dad. Hey. Have a really good day, okay? Bye, Daddy. Hey, be a good boy. Okay. All right, have fun. Bye. Mommy, you're yeah. buckled up. Yep. Are you buckled up? Yeah, I am. Buckled up. Okay. Now I'm ready, Mom. You ready to go to school? Yeah, I'm ready to go to school. Looks like they decorated for Christmas. Ready for Christmas? I see some snowmen. We gotta wait a minute. There's other people going in. We gotta wait our turn. We gotta wait for our turn. Eggs and toast. And what are you? Oh, look at Smokey. Shay, look at Smokey. <laughs> what are you eating? You're dropping your toast on Smokey. <laughs> He's a big boy. He ate all your blueberries already. He loves the blueberries. I gotta get some more today. So I just had some egg. Well, I had one egg with a piece of toast with some butter and blueberries. So I just talked on my Instagram yesterday how. You know, like I have been in maintenance for two years now, over two years, and it's just time for me to start incorporating things back into my life. You know, during weight loss, it is great to make alternatives, you know, to help you along, but things like, at least for me, you guys know, I'm not shaming anybody. I literally lost weight eating these things, but now in my life, like, I don't want to eat fat-free cheese forever, because I love, like, full-fat, sharp cheddar, and... Um, like peanut butter and things like that and where I'm at now. I'm not worried about how many points it is. I'm just Practicing balance so that one day I don't have to worry about anything at all and like my end goal is to never have to track again and to just be able to eat intuitively and So I'm just trying to add those things back into my life. So today I had toast with some real butter on it not spray butter and um like last night or yesterday for lunch i had my um fkc bowl with the tyson chicken cottage cheese and shredded cheese and instead of fat-free cheese i used like sharp cheddar just a sprinkle 
and I talked on my Instagram because somebody of course asked me well aren't you gonna gain all your weight back if you're just adding those things back into your life when you didn't eat them to lose weight and you guys have to remember that one my body's at a completely different state than it was before like I am healthy I work out a lot things like that but also like I feel like in the community the weight loss community in general there's such a stigma of like you have to stay at your lowest weight or you're a failure if you gain weight like you can gain five to ten pounds and that's okay like that is my my goal is not to be at my lowest weight or my lifetime weight for the rest of my life and just be obsessing over the number you know what i mean i'm happy in like a big range so i'm just trying to find the healthy balance with food and be happy with my relationship with food and my mindset and not worried about the exact number on the scale if that makes sense so i'm just trying to find that overall balance just starting to add those things back into my diet and my life because this is forever and i have been maintaining for two years so and honestly i have been doing this like basically since i got pregnant with jacks i started adding those things back um you guys know i didn't track when i was pregnant but i just switched out you know fat free things for full fat um to add a little extra calories and same with peanut butter i started eating peanut butter again things like that so i think i've got a pretty good hang of it but now i'm just really really trying to incorporate that and like yesterday i got munchkins i've like i got munchkins at dunkin donuts and normally like i feel like a lot of people have this mindset where i used to have where you know i'd eat a couple munchkins and be like oh well, i might as well not go to the gym today i might as well just screw the rest of the day and um, I feel like finding that balance in that aspect is super important as well. I always tell you guys like eat the donut and move on. Like that's just what you have to do, that's life. You know, you're not gonna go your whole life not eating certain things. And I posted a thing from Jordan Syatt where he talks about binge eating and how people categorize food as good and bad. And it's something I've talked about for a long time and it's something that WW really tries to um, say is that there's no good and bad foods nothing is off limits you know you have to just find that balance and that moderation and so that's just what i'm trying to do anyway this was like long-winded but um so i'm have i just had breakfast i'm having my protein coffee as well and um i get a lot of questions if i track anymore and honestly i really don't track consistently some days i do some days i don't mostly no um like I said, my end goal is to never have to track again. Um, and that goes with anything. That is not just WW. If you're doing calories, if you're counting macros, I feel like, and you know, everybody's different, but if I were doing anything else, like I wouldn't want to have to track my food for the rest of my life. You know, I feel like everybody's end goal, I, I think, is to just be able to live in food freedom and not have to track and just find that good balance. That's just where I'm at right now. Um, so today I'm going to go to Trader Joe's. Probably when I put Jax down for a nap or I don't know. At some point I want to go to Trader Joe's today. I'll show you guys a Trader Joe's haul and then I'm going to end the video there. So this, this vlog was like literally a whole week long. But um, I just want to make sure it was like long enough and somewhat interesting. So. so I'm getting ready to go to Trader Joe's in a minute. But I just wanted to show you guys this outfit. Because I'm obsessed. Of course it's all Buff Bunny Collection. It's all sold out right now. But still I wanted to show how cute. I love this pullover so much. The Escandala pullover. I hope they restock it at some point, but love. Hello. So I just got done at Trader Joe's. I'm so excited. I'm trying to fix this. So I literally have not been to Trader Joe's since, well, I went one day um, when we were on our way to Michigan to get some light mozzarella, which they don't have anymore, but um, we didn't have one here in Indiana. You guys know I used to live in California and I used to go all the time. I actually have a Trader Joe's must haves video on here, but finally we got one here in my city. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm gonna say it, but Chick-fil-A is not that good. Like who, if you wait in that Chick-fil-A line, you guys, I can't oh my god that is so crazy it is just crazy to me that people really like chick-fil-a that much that they're gonna sit in a line anyways I got a lot of good stuff which I'll show you when I get home but I did get the gone bananas the chocolate covered bananas and I kind of I literally brought this up front so I could try one I've never had these before Again. 
I don't know. They're pretty good. Anyways, I'm going home now, so I will show you guys what I got when I get home. All right, guys, so I'm back from Trader Joe's. I wanted to show you guys what I got. So I will start over here. Just picked up some hash browns. These are the same amount of points as the Orida ones, but I'm wanting to see if these taste better. Um, and then I got the cookie butter, the famous cookie butter. I'm pretty sure this is not healthy or high in points, but I just wanted to try it. And then I got some turkey breast and the Jarlsberg Swiss. I believe these are, um, so I'm pretty sure these this cheese is one point for one slice. I got some of the orange chicken. Oh, if you guys remember, I used to eat this all the time. It's nine points for a cup, and I always pair it with cauliflower fried rice that I make with mixed veggies, and it's so so I got turkey meatballs to eat with like the bird's eye pasta. Um, I thought that would be a good dinner like spaghetti and meatballs. These are three points for two meatballs. And then I got these that I showed in the car, the Trader Joe's Gone Bananas. They're just chocolate covered bananas, pretty sure. Seven points for four pieces, so not super friendly with the points, but they're pretty good. I got these that everybody talks about. I've never tried them, but we just opened them up. And Shay loves mint anything, so I'm going to scan them actually. Um, they are five points for 13 of them, which that's not too bad. I mean, they are pretty tiny, so I don't know. Got the... I got my favorite mac and cheese, the Trader Joe's Reduced Guilt Mac and Cheese. So bomb. It's eight points for the whole thing. I usually do like half and use it as a side for four points. Or you can do the whole thing and just add like broccoli and chicken to it and bulk it up a little bit. And then I got the light Mexican blend cheese. I got the light three cheese blend. Pretty sure this is two points for a fourth a cup. And then I got the regular shredded mozzarella. You guys know they discontinued the light mozzarella. From what I hear, it's I'm pretty sure it's like the exact same cheese because the rumor is that the light mozzarella nutrition facts were not right. Um, so I'm assuming that this is probably the same, um, but I'm pretty sure it's three. Let me see. It is three points. Let's see. It's two points for a fourth of a cup and three points for half a cup. So still not that bad compared to most uh, cheeses. So I got a couple bags of those. I got a bunch of the extra lean ground beef. This is my favorite lean ground beef. So good. It's two points for four ounces, I believe. And then I found these spicy Italian chicken sausages. They are three points. I'm hoping they're not too, too spicy. We'll see. But I want to try them out with, like, my combo. So I'll let you guys know how these are. I got a big thing of blueberries because we've been loving blueberries lately. I got the uh, Trader Joe's Creamy Spinach and Artichoke Dip. This is in the frozen section. This stuff is so good. It's two points for two tablespoons. But it's just, like, a great snack um, to eat with, like, good thins. Um, or if you're like having a party, um, it's it's literally the best spinach dip. It's so good. And then of course I picked up some turkey corn dogs. These are so good, especially in the air fryer. My husband loves these. I'm sure the kids will love these. Um, they are five points for one turkey dog. I got this reduced guilt spinach and cheese stuffed shells. This is also eight points for the whole thing. Um, pair it with like a salad or something. I think it'd be pretty good. Um, and then I got these, I hear about these all the time, these little mini hold the cones. They're four points for one. I'm pretty sure they're really small, so I don't know. We'll see. And Weston always likes a little ice cream treat after dinner, so maybe he'll like these. And then I got these peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets for Shay, because I know he'll love those. I got some light whipped cream. This is one point for two tablespoons. I got the white cheddar corn puffs. These are so good. Um, you can literally have two and a half full cups for four points, I'm pretty sure, four or five. Um, but they're really good. They're light and airy. Delish. And then I got the mashed potatoes. These are my fave. Oh, these are my fave. So good. Really good in points. They're like little cubes. You guys know if you've watched me for a while, I use these all the time. But they're just little cubes and you mix them with water and heat them up. And then I got these for the kids. These for the kids, little um, apple banana pouches, bananas. And then I did get Smokey some dog treats as well. So that is, oh, and I also got, Jax is playing with, I also got these silver dollar pancakes um, for the kids for breakfast. Hi, Amy. Hi, sweetie. What is that, Mom? These are pancakes. Pancakes. 
So yeah, I got those as well. So I'm about to put all this away. Also forgot to show these, these cold brew latte dessert bars. They're two points for one. So I'll also keep you updated on how those are, but I've never seen these before. So I'm excited to try them. <laughs> I am going to end this vlog here. I'm about to put Jax down for his first nap and then I'm gonna edit this and get it up for you guys. So I know this was like such a mix, um, like crazy video. Let me know what you guys wanna see down below. I wanna get another video up this week. Let me know any suggestions you have for videos. I know I'm so inconsistent on here, but we know that's just how I am on YouTube. Um, but I do wanna, probably I'll start vlogging again today and hopefully have another video up for you guys by the end of the weekish or the weekend. So let me know and thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.